Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. All right, I am back. I had to run over to the local Walmart and get another tank for the heaters. Like I said, I'm sorry about the noise. It should be too bad. I'm going to move the heater back a little bit farther. It's too loud. And I'm going to throw my carburetor here on this uh, 85 TRX 1.5. Need some tools to get it started. All right, we got some tools here. For some reason, in this infinite, infinite wisdom of Honda back in the 80s, they decided not to put the shelf on the gas tank. They decided to put the shelf on the carburetor. So you either got to pinch the lines off, which you got two, or you can shut off the fuel, pull the petcock off the two screws on the side of the carburetor and just leave the petcock on there, on the lines. Uh, I think we're going to do a whole entire swap on the carburetor, so it doesn't really matter to me if the, if the petcock stays on the lines. It's just want to get the lines off and get it on the new car. I just don't have room in the garage. off the cross is a tie bar right here ties the plastic together across the tank the bolt out. I think, it's, I think it might be just two more up here. Alright, we'll bring it back when I get it. Alright, we got the body off of it. Not the most fun in the world. It was the most difficult. The problem is, you know, yeah. bracket that goes across here. You look back here on that fender. By the tire the and the fender, you see a black bracket. It goes between here and here and then sticks up the side to hold the fender from flapping. And then you gotta get up over these things. You gotta get around all the cables. All uh, the light brackets in the way. Yeah, just and you're pulling on plastic to what? Forty years or uh, yeah, four years old. So you know, you wanna be careful. I see yeah, almost four years old. So but I get that. A lot more access to pick up on this tank. I'm trying to here. I can 
headlock right off the Shut the back cock off and just leave it there. Now we got uh, throttle weight and throttle cable. And the choke kind of not fun to get off either. You barely got the room to get out. I apologize for the heater noise. The air box removed. I just heated this up with the hot air gun and just pulled it right off. Uh, I noticed there was fuel on the back side of this carburetor, so I know it was overflowing. Right, 
difficult to get them all, all on without taking the tank out of the road. Give me a 10 millimeter wrench here. This one's the easy one. This one's not. You got a CDI over here, you got a coil, and it's just, I don't know. In between both of them. And then there's a, a brake cable that runs down the right side of the quad to the brake the line. In fact, let's get this nut off. Take me a minute. Oh, right, we got the other nut off that. I just reached one finger underneath the intake, one over it, and we got it. I can zoom me in a little, a little more here. Up. There we go. Yeah, I reached underneath that intake too. I got one finger underneath, one finger in this little hole in, I got it on the hook. Uh, you have a vent line on the top here. You have to heat up to get back on, it is pretty much hard to rock, it's petrified. Uh, the intake, but I'm on the floor on the floor. Now I'm on the battery. Yeah, I'm about the open floor tube on the bottom. I like this leak. Moss cover there. Ah, I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way here. I got a new air filter for this too. Back you up here. Zoom me back out a little bit. Put some carburetor on. Parts, parts, parts. Carburetor. Alright. Here's the story about the carburetor. You cannot buy the carburetor new. The only thing you can hope for is you find a used one. And if the seat and the used ones is as bad as the new, the old one, you're right where back where you started. The only option you have is an aftermarket. Trying to get the bag here. Bam. Only option you have. Uh, except for an O-ring falling out. They look identical to each other, so. Not like one's different than the other one. The only thing I'm worried about is the throttle assembly. I we'll have to put this one on my cable. I'm hoping not, but we won't know until we try to put it on. And the O-ring keeps trying to pop out, pop out here. Once it's been squeezed, once in there, you can forget forget about it. It won't come out again. Right, I'm gonna bring you back. I'm gonna try to. I can unscrew this without getting everything going flying everywhere. Ring. Come on, I got my finger. I'm trying to get the slide to pop out. Hoping my slide will fit in there. But anyway, I'm trying to get the slide out of here. Nah. Can you see it through there? Anyway, there's a slide in here. We gotta get it out. All right, we'll bring you back when I get to check this to see if it'll. All right, I tried their slide. Their slide on my carburetor and it fit, and mine is on their carburetor. So hopefully we're okay there. The other thing is different on this one. 
Mine has studs here. That one takes bolts. I'm not sure how you can get the bolt in from the back side of the intake because I'll show you. One hole right here on the turn. How would you get a bolt in there? So, yeah, this one's got nuts in on this side. So you put the bolt in from this side, which is a lot easier on this one. But not so easy on that one. All right, there's not much to see here about putting it back on. So we'll, uh, I'm gonna pause this and uh, bring you back once you get this one reinstalled. So there's not much to see. That one bolt might be a little bit of a fight, but if I can get around that turn, I gotta beat. All right, we finally got the car back on. We had to make our own studs. Studs are too short. That's hot when you get aftermarket stuff. Uh, hang on. The originals had studs that screwed into here, and the flange is really thin. The other one, the flange is thick, and there's nuts on the other side. So. We had to make our own studs for it. But the carburetor is back on. Now we just gotta get the, hopefully the choke fits. Make sure you guys can see. Alright, let's try to get this choke cable back on. I got the throttle on. the notch and then the cable just looks here in spring load. It's the same setup as that one except for it's got this bracket on here. here and pull the pull this pull these things off and put it on the other one hang on all right we decided that's not a good idea i hate to take this uh original carburetor and mess it all up and find out it doesn't work anyway yeah it's not so easy as taking a, a screw up the side and side the piece off i wish it was I'll be happy. Gotta find the tank bolt. Now the air box back on. And I'll go uh, to rustle them with the vent fenders. Because, like I said, they're not fun to get back on. Turn around all these wires and the headlights. Uh. I hope 
wants to change their, uh, their stuff, they can break it off onto the tank. Alright, we're going to swap over fuel lines and get fended back on. We'll see you for the room. Alright, we got fuel lines back on. Got a slight fuel spill because uh, the valve turned on me. Black the camera. But Chinese carburetor is way better. It would be pouring black smoke out of the back of that before. It's a little bit now, but uh, the smoke can be pretty foul. All right, we're gonna get the airbox back on, shut it up before we get carbon monoxide poisoning, and we'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I just want to get the airbox on. Gotta get an air filter in it. We got a we got a brand new one here. Factory spec. Take a second to install it, I gotta grab the filter oil too. Alright, we get the filter oil on. Unfortunately, the only thing I have is K&N, so... Go Tightened up because there's a, it's a metal key. I'm doing a different video. Is that a tie rod in? And you can do 
Alright, All right, set it back on. All right, I'm going to pause you one second. We're going to get these plastics on because, uh, like you said, to get it around and all this stuff. I'll take them off. We'll preview the box. Trying to get them off. Like I said, it's not it's not fun at all. I can bring you back a little bit here. Zoom. Whoops. No one. Guess not. Guess as far back as I can bring you. This is not fun to get on. I'm always afraid I'm gonna break them. They're old. to get that headlight off. All right, we couldn't get that headlight off. We got them back on. God bless the person who designed this. I bet his ears are breaking in every time I'm mechanic to take these fenders off and put them back on. Uh, they weren't using good words to describe them. I can guarantee that. in from uh, bouncing. Three more, two in the back. One for the bracket, two to hold the back of the fenders down. Set the bracket in, I forget to do it every time. You know, I'm trying to fry it on the beat. But I'm trying to get the electronic resin work done off camera out here in the field with my son, but it just kept overflowing. You tap on the side of it and get to stop, but it's only a matter of time before you hit a bump and it's going to go right back to the same line. I'm going to go for two. I'm trying to follow some all the way back here from where on the ground. And then once it will lean up, you can drive it, it will lean out. It will run good and then all the cover will come back up when you, you let it back out. And uh, it's been flooded again. Of course, on the TRX with power pans, but it'd be like you let the anchor out and then you pull the anchor back in and take off like a rocket. Two 
black piece of this, this slide on the edge and see that it makes it look better. This can get written. Before there was no way to write it. Get the back seat. Back seat. The back plastic's on. Huh? Pulls it before I step on the slide. Uh, I'm gonna come and mess around with the idle. You want it to sound like a hit in this engine where it's barely running. Uh, I don't know if we'll get that to happen with this uh, aftermarket Chinese carburetor on, but he'll try. Alright, there she is. Am I zoomed in still? No, wrong way. Alright, there she is. Uh, Got a slight crack back here. I didn't do this. That's how I got it. Uh, I like the hot staples. Uh, got a slight crack over here, which is hot stapled on the inside. Other than that, it's not that bad. I mean, the back plastics are better than the front ones in color. But I think you can uh, wet sand this or buff it back in. I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 it's to get ridden. It's not like it's a showpiece. Uh, you see the tires are. are Toed in. This one's this one's in. This one's straight. That's where the I need two tie rods. Uh, this one on this on this side is just high man. So I mean it worked, but uh, I have brand new tie rods up there in the box. OEM tie rods. Like you said, I uh, apologize for the third or fourth time for that either. But anyway, got any information on the video? Please like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Uh, you can use backyard repair on both of them, one of them about the S. It's part of the funny video, the girl takes the data screenshots, uh, roadside finds, uh, uh, lots of finds at Walmart. Uh, I see lots of funny parking at Walmart, but people can't get the spots. <laughs> I take some of them pictures anyway. I'm just gonna go check out both of them. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you would please, make a comment. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, go over 500 subscribers. Thank you everyone for, uh, who does subscribe. Uh, check out my older videos. I got a lot of shorter videos. Uh, we do a lot of test, test, test riding. Uh, my son uh, used to buy and sell dirt bikes and quad. So uh, way back in the day, we used to just get them fixed and then we just do videos and temp riding. So we check out all of them. I got snowboard, got football, I got, got wee whackers, I got chainsaws, I got, I got a little bit of everything. So we we'll, would go back and check out some of them. And then you got anybody that think of me to go? Like some new guy fixing stuff in his garage, uh, or maybe they have a problem with theirs. You know, they might have a TRX and have a run problem. This one's smoking like a, like it was diesel. Stink! Oh my God! Stink! The gas fumes about knock you out. So anyway, uh, got anybody uh, need some help fixing some stuff? I got the generator. Whoops! Over there, I'm gonna. Get, I'm waiting for parts to come in. We're gonna get a video of that. Uh, that'll be a will run and quite uh, time before we get to uh, that has to be replaced first, and then we got to do a little run on that. You guys said won't run. Anyway, so check them out. I'm out of here. Peace! There she is, sitting next to the old XR100. The old girl, and the newer old girl. Alright, we're out of here.